Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. Today, we're exploring a major development in the global maritime trade landscape China's $66 billion mega project in the Strait of Malacca. This strategically crucial waterway handles one-third of the world's maritime trade each year. China's ambitious plan involves constructing a deep sea port along the coast of Malaysia. An initiative that's part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, launched in 2013 to build sea lanes and port development to recreate the historical maritime Silk Road. But what makes this project so significant, and why is it causing waves of concern? Please subscribe, like and comment to boost our videos. Now, let's begin. In the global race for economic dominance, China has been employing strategic initiatives to fortify its maritime supremacy. Recognizing the potential to outpace its rivals, China is channeling billions into the development of international ports, especially those located along the Indian Ocean. Ports such as Kyapu in Myanmar, Greater Port in Pakistan, the Port of Suez in Egypt, and the Piraeus Port in Greece are all part of this grand design. Collectively, they form the strategically significant string of pearls, enabling China to extend its reach across the globe and create a bottomless marketplace. But the critical bottleneck remains the prolonged duration it takes for vessels to sail from China to Europe. To address this challenge, China has devised an ambitious $66 billion mega project, focusing on the Strait of Malacca. The Strait of Malacca has long been recognized as an important maritime shortcut and one of the primary routes for global container ships. Approximately a third of the world's maritime trade traverses this passage annually, highlighting its strategic significance. With Malaysia bordering the strait, the two nations have always maintained strong links. Their shared history, coupled with the strait's strategic value, has enticed China to invest heavily in this area, resulting in the conception of an ambitious mega-project. China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, launched in 2013, forms the backbone of this mega-project. The BRI, which emphasizes sea routes and port development, seeks to reconstruct the historical maritime Silk Road. Funded by a colossal budget, the centerpiece of this initiative is the proposed deep sea port on Malaysia's coastline, located near the existing Port Klang. Designed to accommodate the world's largest cargo ships, this new mega port stands to increase port capacity and connectivity, attracting significant trade to the region. However, this development may have far-reaching consequences for the region, especially for Singapore. As the most profitable port in the Strait of Malacca, Singapore might witness a decline in its revenues due to the shift in maritime trade to the new mega port. There are fears that Singapore could lose control over the Malacca Strait, which could have a significant impact on its economy and security if China decides to limit the strait's capacity. What sets this project apart from similar ventures is the planned construction of an industrial park in the second phase. This facility, the Port Klang Industrial Park, is expected to house numerous factories, logistics, and research and development facilities. The integration of production with shipping operations at the same location is projected to save significant time and money. Despite the perceived advantages, concerns loom regarding Malaysia's dependency on China, reminiscent of the situation in Greece post-China's investment. There are fears that Malaysia may face similar issues if it becomes heavily reliant on China's financial muscle. Furthermore, some critics argue that China often builds ports in strategic locations in other countries primarily to exploit them for their own interests, citing the example of Sri Lanka's Hambantota port. Fears of dependency and exploitation are not the only concerns. Malaysian officials and citizens worry about a potential influx of cheap Chinese labor, environmental pollution, and threats to territorial sovereignty. The project, critics argue, may result in foreign entities owning and occupying valuable land, thereby diminishing Malaysia's control over its territory. Given the scale and ambition of the $66 billion mega project, it's undeniable that it will have profound long-term implications for both Malaysia and the region. From an economic perspective, the establishment of the mega port and the industrial park may spur employment opportunities and foster growth. It will promote increased trade connectivity and develop an ecosystem that stimulates local industries, benefiting not just Malaysia but the entire region. On the flip side, this could mean that the countries involved in the project, especially Malaysia, risk falling into what's known as a debt trap. In the case of Sri Lanka's Hambantota port, 
the country was unable to repay the loans to China, forcing the Sri Lankan government to lease the port and 15,000 acres of surrounding land to China for 99 years. With this cautionary tale, it becomes clear that there are significant risks involved. China's approach in financing infrastructure projects in developing countries have long raised eyebrows, largely due to the lack of transparency and the potential political influence China could gain over the host country. In many ways, it could be argued that such mega-projects are a strategic ploy to exert economic dominance and expand political influence in the region, as it gives China a foothold in these countries. While China maintains that its actions are rooted in mutual benefits and shared prosperity, it's hard to ignore the asymmetry in these relationships. It's important to question whether the loans that facilitate these projects are a form of economic assistance or rather a strategic move towards geopolitical influence. The mixed responses from the Malaysian public and politicians reflect the delicate balancing act the country has to maintain. On one hand, the benefits of increased economic activity and job creation are attractive. On the other hand, the potential risks of ceding control over crucial national assets to a foreign power are a significant concern. Former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad, for instance, has expressed reservations, claiming that valuable land would effectively become foreign territory. Other critics have raised concerns about an influx of cheap labor from China, which could undermine the local workforce and exacerbate existing social issues. Environmentalists have also raised concerns, arguing that the massive construction associated with the project will lead to environmental degradation, particularly the destruction of natural habitats. These changes could adversely affect the local fishing industry, resulting in socio-economic repercussions for communities reliant on this sector. The debate around environmental impacts has intensified, adding another layer of complexity to the conversation around the mega-project. China's $66 billion mega-project brings with it both the promise of economic development and significant concerns about debt, dependence, and potential environmental impact. Will this be a win-win situation or a cause for regret? Only time will tell. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let us know your thoughts on this mega project in the comments below. Stay tuned for more insights on innovative projects around the world.